What is happening guys, it's your boy TC back with another video. So that's 11 wins in a row. What a fantastic run we are currently on. I do believe out of the Premier League teams, we are one of the most informed team currently. So I'm gonna deviate away from the usual format today. I'm gonna to bring you a review as well as a preview. Unfortunately, um, I've not had much time recently to put out as, as much content as I'd like to be putting out. Um, basically, I've started a new job and uh, that's what it boils down to. So I've been extremely extremely busy recently however let's talk about last night's performance against Sporting Lisbon away in Portugal so it was a 1-0 win and essentially it was a result that was grinded out it wasn't the best performance whatsoever 11th win in a row in all competitions but what I do believe is this team is certainly going within the right direction uh, in most cases we would have easily settled for a draw but there's that little bit of resilience that I keep talking about, that little bit of um, extra fight that's been instilled in the team this season. Sporting Lisbon are certainly not an easy team to beat at home. They'd only lost twice at home in the last two years. So that's a fantastic, fantastic record that they do have in place. They do have some decent players. Some of their players were causing us a couple of issues here and there, namely Nani was trying to get things happening. However, none of that came to fruition. We certainly held on and we certainly held on for that particular win that we needed. So it leaves us in a very, very comfortable position within this particular group. Um, chances are that we're going to qualify qualify as the leaders as well in this particular group. But let me just talk about the team selection from last night. So we saw Lich Steiner starting at right back. Lerner was obviously in goal. Uh, Socrates returned to the team and he looked a bit jaded in my opinion. Very laboured and uh, he nearly, nearly got a red card. Um, he did get away with it, but I do believe his experience came into play because he was tugging at that player's shirt. And it seemed as if the ref was going to give a red card, but his assistants didn't spot it. Both assistants didn't see that particular pull. So he had a mixed bag, um, a mixed performance, I should say. Looked extremely tired to me and, uh, and he looked jaded. But nonetheless, we kept a clean sheet and we actually came away with the win. Again, Rob Holding, fantastic run he's having within the team. He certainly complimented Socrates, who, as I said, looked extremely jaded. At left back, what an absolute surprise. Granite Shaka was played at left back. Of course, we know he's left footed. And um, I should say for someone who's not naturally a left back, he did perform uh, to a decent standard. I should say we did not concede a goal, but at times he was getting beaten or being sucked out of position. He was sort of trying to drift back in centrally. But doesn't matter, of course, he did put in a good shift. In the middle of the park, we saw Gwendouzi starting as the, um, the anchor man, and he did have a good performance again, in my opinion. And uh, we also saw Ramsey as well as El Nenny. Up top, we had uh, Danny Welbeck and Mkhitaryan as well as Aubameyang. So, of course, Aubameyang had a, uh, a quiet night, I should say. A couple of chances at the start of the second half he should have put away, in my opinion, but of course, these strikers tend to miss some and they obviously score a number of goals, but it doesn't matter. So, of course, the goal came courtesy of Danny Welbeck. Danny Welbeck, I do believe he's, uh, he's got four goals now and he's got one assist. So each time he starts, he seems to be contributing a hell of a lot to the team. Does it mean that he can challenge for a starting 11 spot? At this particular moment, I don't believe so because we've got a Batman and Lacazette and both those players are bang on form. So I don't believe that warrants a starting place as well as the fact that he is playing in these cup competitions. And usually at this particular stage of these competitions, the opposition is usually a lesser opposition, I should say, to be uh, political about that one. But he keeps scoring goals. So the goal came courtesy, as I said, of Danny Welbeck. And I do believe the game changed when Lucas Torreira came on. As soon as Lucas Torreira came on, the whole picture of the game changed. We looked much more comfortable on the ball. Sporting Lisbon had less and less possession at that particular point. And the initial ball through to Aubameyang again came through from Torreira. So I do believe Torreira is that player we've been missing. Game changer. As soon as he came on, you could see the difference in the team. It then also allowed... Um, the other midfielders to push on slightly a bit further, keep the press high, and essentially the goal came. Of course, it was slightly a little bit of a slip from the Sporting Lisbon defender, Coates, 
but it allowed Danny Orbeck to slip through and the finish was absolutely fantastic in through between the legs of the keeper and we found ourselves 1-0 so that's how it ended of the night and again as I said fantastic victory even though we didn't play well so let's move on to the Crystal Palace preview uh, of course we do know crystal palace is one of those bogey teams however currently they haven't won in their last four in the premier league and um, they are a bit short of form but obviously their manager is roy hodgson extremely extremely experienced and we face them on sunday afternoon at the time of recording this video it is friday of course they do have the danger man that is wolf zaha max Meyer has come back from illness as well so he should feature in this particular game i'd like to think so so apart from those two players there's not that many concerns that i do have they haven't got great wide players maybe their left back may certainly pose a wide threat and that's in the form of van arnold but apart from that i'm not too sure if they will pose a, a big of a threat to us of course we are very high in confidence great form seven wins on the trot as well in the premier league so we do need to make it eight wins on the bounce in the premier league and we currently lie two points behind the leaders in the league um, a few bits of injury news that we need to talk about so as mentioned in the in the last segment of this video granite shaka played as the left back and to me that was absolutely astounding when i saw the team sheet i was thinking hang on what's going on here but i later on found out that kolashinyak as well as monreal and not fit. Kalashnyak, I'm not too sure what's going on with him. We did see him return to the team briefly, and then he sort of picked up another injury. So hopefully one of them can get going for this game on Sunday. Of course, Shaka has formed a great partnership with Lucas Torreira. I think they have actually come up with a good balance. But let's just talk about my predicted starting 11 on the day. Of course, Lerner should return in goal. And right back, Hector Bellerin. I do believe Mustafi will return to the team. And I'd like to see Unai Emery be brave enough and keep Rob Holding in the team. We've seen Socrates play 90 minutes against Sporting Lisbon on Thursday. So hopefully he can still retain the services of Rob Holding in the team. At left back, as I said, hopefully either Natural Monreal or Kalashnyak should be fit. If not, we may see Granite Xhaka go back in that position. If that is the case, I do believe the two in the midfield will be Gunduzi and Torreira, as well as the fact that Mesut Ozil should be returning to the team. I also believe that Unai Emery will stick with Iwobi, as well as the fact that we can also see Aubameyang get a start, and Lacazette, of course, will be the out-and-out -out striker. So, of course, as I said, we're in fantastic form. We need to push for the eighth win in a row in the Premier League, and if we can continue with this momentum, you never know what's going to happen. It is a fantastic run that we're currently on, and it's absolutely unbelievable. So far this season, I'm having an absolutely great time. Of course, we didn't come off to the, to the best of starts. Lost two games straight away, but doesn't matter. That's all done and dusted. We are marching on as it is. 11 wins in a row. Can we make it 12 wins in a row? But as usual, guys, please do let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, please do make sure that you do hit that subscribe button. So once again, guys, it's your boy TC from I'm Gonna Talk TV. And I'm out.